conducted some highly sophisticated scientific experiments today. A small satellite helped them gather information on the nature of the ionosphere and the solar gases around the sun. And the crew may soon hear from a group of youngsters on the ground. Mara Walensky tells us how some Staten Island kids are trying to reach them. If you love out-of-this-world audiovisual adventures, then today the place to be was here at IS-72 in Staten Island. That's where a group of ham radio students were trying to make voice contact with astronaut and ham radio buff Tony England, who's currently aboard the space shuttle Challenger. But wait, there's more. Yes, uh, another thing we're going to have set up here is called slow scan television. So we'll be able to send visual uh, signals from the space shuttle to here and from here to the space shuttle so they'll be able to see us and we'll be able to see them. Outside the school, satellite dishes were set up by the Allboro Satellite Company of Queens to provide the video. We're going to be sending pictures of the children and the people in the audience up to the shuttle. And this is the first attempt, this is the first time this has ever been tried. It's amazing you think of how many people in the world actually get to do this. There's really practically nobody can. This is going to be a one in a lifetime chance for anybody to have this happen to them. If you do get Tony England, what are you going to tell him? <laughs> tell him, I don't really know. I'm going to tell him that I really enjoy ham radio. And I'd like to, you know, maybe one day go up in space and be ham up in space. Be nice. Ham in space. <laughs> okay. The group expects to make contact with the astronauts sometime around 4 o'clock this afternoon. And where will he be? Oh, they say somewhere in the skies over New England. They hope. We'll be asking questions about his, uh, his position and his altitude. And, of course, we'll tell him about how the ham radio program is down here at IS-72. But then, just when it looked like contact would be made, the satellite moved out of range, and it was goodbye, Tony England. Yes, even though they got lost in space this time, they say they'll keep trying. Mara Walensky, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Right.